Here's a quick side-by-side -side of the 7S Plus and the XC Plus. One of the first things we noticed was that the XC Plus is not as wide as the 7S Plus. You can see here that the seating area across is about 19 inches. Now it does taper open a little bit as you go up and this opening across the top is 22.5 inches. Now notice when we move over to the 7S Plus, the seating area is actually more generous when it measures about 22.5 inches across just on the seating area. And as you go up across the top of the wagon, it is 23.5 inches across, which means kids have more room for shoulders and comfort. We also noticed that the 7S Plus has a deeper seating area, which just means a comfier seat for bigger kids. The 7S Plus is recommended for kids 12 months and up, whereas the XC Plus can be used from six months and up. Here you can see the footwell area for the XC Plus. You can remove those bench seats so it can be flat across the bottom, but you would not have any harnesses. Now, this is the 7S Plus bottom. There are zippers and Velcro that hold this plate in place, revealing the optional footwell if you open it up. This footwell also features a zipper so that you can open it up and take out any debris that comes from kids' shoes. Both of these wagons come with an included snack tray, which is fantastic. We did notice, however, right away that the 7S Plus snack tray is not only wider in the snackage area, but it's also taller along the sidewalls and the cup holder areas, meaning that it can hold taller cups more securely. The snack trays do attach differently, and we will show you right now how they attach and how sturdy they are. To install the XC Plus snack tray, you need to move the clips over for those bench seats so you can make space for the clips to install the snack tray. If you have weaker hands like I do, it may be a little bit difficult, but I think for the average person, it's probably just fine. You may have to tug it a little bit to get it on either side of the folding mechanism. However, once all four corners of the snack tray are installed, you can go ahead and scoot those clips back for the bench seats to put them kind of back in place. I don't really understand what the point of these Velcro things are for the cup holders. It seems pretty pointless to me. You know we keep it real on the channel. Moving along to the 7S Plus snack tray, I find that installation is a lot easier. You do sometimes have to pop these little plastic attachment points back through the fabric of the carriage. However, it does apply pretty easily after that. It slips on. Um, it does help if you put the brake on like I needed to. And once you do that, the wagon will move and you can pop it on pretty easily. This snack tray is bigger and can hold more snacks than the other one. However, it's not as sturdy as I would like if it's tapped from underneath. The XC Plus snack tray is a lot sturdier. Something to note though, is that the snack tray is actually a lot closer to little kids' knees on the XC Plus, which is why it's a bonus that it hangs on so hard because it's a lot more likely to be tapped from underneath than the 7S Plus snack tray is. With those lifted bench seats, it's a lot easier for kids to see into the snack tray and to use it effectively. Moving our little dragon friend to the 7S Plus, you can see here that the seat is a lot deeper, which means that smaller kids will have a harder time seeing into the snack tray and even just seeing out of the wagon. Now it is a full 12 inches from the seating area and less likely to be disturbed by little legs that are roaming around in the wagon. As stated previously, we really think that the 7S Plus is geared toward and better for older kids. Now let's look at how kids will be getting into the wagon. If you're not picking them up, they're going to have to climb in. On the XC Plus, the frame is a little bit exposed, which makes it a little bit easier for kids to get a leg up. On the 7S Plus, this bar is kind of recessed and underneath a little bit of fabric, so it's really not a natural climbing point for kids to be able to get in the wagon. They might have to step here on the back tire, which is a good size. However, they're gonna have to find a hard frame place to climb in because the other parts of the walls of the wagon are soft and don't really have structure. I'm sure Keens just recommends picking them up. Both wagons feature large oversized tires that are bigger than any other tires on a stroller wagon as far as I'm aware. Through all of our testing, we've come to find that the flatter and wider that the tire is, the better it is for all terrain. So the 7S Plus tire comes out on top for us. Is this stroller wagon too wide for my front door? We're giving you the width at the widest part of each wagon so you can see for yourself if it will fit through your front door, your garage door, whatever it is that you want to test and make sure that you can move through easily in and out. The XC Plus can fit through our front door, the 7S Plus cannot. We've decided to keep it though, so we're just gonna be folding it to move it in and out of the house as needed. A quick glance for you on the storage over the big tires on each of the wagons. On both, it can be zipped off and interchanged with an extra basket, which I think is a really fantastic feature. However, I don't like that they hang by a zipper. I don't feel like that can carry that much weight, but I love the option of being able to put on a second basket to either of these wagons. That is fantastic for storage. 
We do prefer the XC Plus brake. It's just more accessible, a little bit easier to use. It doesn't have to go fully vertical to engage it. Now the 7S Plus brake is a little bit hidden underneath this envelope. If you move it, you can see it does go fully vertical to be engaged, which is a little bit strange, but both are pretty functional. For the handlebars, the wrapping on the 7S Plus is actually sewn on, so it's not interchangeable, but the button is more ergonomically comfortable. It's on the outside. For the XC Plus, it's on the inside, not that comfortable, but the handlebar grip can be changed out as it is zipped on. The XC Plus seems more geared toward comfort, whereas the 7S Plus is more geared toward functionality. The seating area here in the 7S Plus is just not as comfortable in our opinion. It has these three hard bars that go across the seating area, and there's not exactly a lot of cushion there for little heads to be bopping around on if you're going over rough terrain in the adventure wagon. You gotta get a little quick in your spine. The basket for each wagon holds the canopy pretty perfectly, however they are different. The 7S Plus basket here is fully insulated, which is amazing if you live in a hot climate or if you have a lot of sporting events. There are no pockets sewn on the outside other than the underside pocket, which is pretty trademark for Keens and can carry dirty shoes, you know, wet towels and things like that. The XC Plus basket, however, has a few more nooks and crannies built into it. It has this mesh pocket on the inside, which is great for separating, you know, if you have smaller items that you want to be carrying, but tucked away in the privacy of the basket. Also has two pockets built in on the outside, as well as that trademark Keens pocket on the underside. Really a genius idea there from Keens. The canopy attachment style on these wagons is pretty much exactly the same. They look a little bit different aesthetically, but they work exactly the same which is nice because they both work really well. Aesthetically, these are very similar. However, there are a couple of differences to note. Now the XC Plus being the luxury comfort wagon has this extra bell and whistle here of you can do total coverage or you can have kind of a mesh window. That is a pretty cool feature. Now they both have this function on the top where you can roll it open for a kind of a sunroof or and it has this built in magnet that holds down the top pretty well, even if there's wind. Now on the 7S Plus, it has the same exact function. However, we noticed that the magnet is noticeably weaker for some reason on this model. I don't know if that's just our wagon or if that's a different kind of magnet. Now you can see here, there is no mesh window option on the 7S Plus, just more heavy duty fabric. You can also buy these stroller type canopies for the XC Plus, which is a cool option to have. Regarding the push and maneuvering of these wagons, we noticed that the seat bottom, which is where most of the weight is concentrated when kids are inside, is almost twice as high up in the air for the XC Plus as it is for the 7S Plus. I really think that the center of gravity being lower to the ground helps with maneuvering, it makes it not as tippy, and overall just a better user experience. The XC Plus folding mechanism here is not my favorite. These little clips are the bane of my existence. 7S Plus is a lot friendlier to fold in my opinion. The 7S Plus also comes with this bonus kind of cup holder that's thrown in for free, can hold your phone too, which is really nice to have included. Something that I really appreciate about the 7S Plus is that it has a true standing fold. If you turn the tires in and you lock them in place, you can wheel this baby around no problem. I really like that because when a wagon that's this big doesn't have a standing fold, it can like crush your kid and it almost happened to mine. So I think this is a really great feature to have that's not really that thought about by a lot of brands. This baby is not tippy at all. If you've seen our three-way comparison with the XC Plus, then you know that I struggle with this fold. Now we adjusted the straps a little bit. They're not that easy to adjust, but we tried just to see if it would be easier to have a standing fold. If you made the top strap tighter, it's not. And it's also now harder to buckle the top strap. So 10 out of 10, don't recommend, especially if you have weak hands like me, because <laughs> it's really embarrassing trying to get this baby folded by myself. I will note that tightening the top strap made the bottom strap easier to do, so I guess that's something. Now we have tried putting the tires each way, locking them in place. It doesn't matter what we do with this one, it just will not stay upright. And when you take the brake off, absolutely no chance whatsoever. It is kind of frustrating. So for me, storage wise, that is really a disadvantage because how are you going to store this in such a way that it's safe to be around little kids? Not the best in my opinion. It's also not easily wheeled around, like if you're at the airport or something, the way that the 7S Plus is. It's just not that easy to maneuver when it's folded. So unless you wanna carry this everywhere, it's just not happening. Now for a look at the inside of the seating area for both of these wagons, you can see that there are four nice big pockets on the inside of the 7S Plus, and you can have the flat bottom in place and still use harnesses for kids, which is really different. 
For the XC Plus, there are four pockets. They're just smaller and they are mesh. They're see-through, which could be nice. However, you cannot have a flat bottom in use and have harnesses as those go with the bench seats. Now these wagons both have easy tire removal, front tires that lock, and a push and pull option. They both also have adjustable harnesses, plenty of storage options, and high weight limits. If you need more wagon help, please join our group. It's linked in the description below. You can get help from me, personalized help, and help from other parents. Subscribe to see our 7S Plus review as soon as it comes out. Thank you to everyone who shares our videos. It really means a lot to us. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye!